Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Herndon. The search for Jillian Kelly and Veronica Butler continues. The two were last heard from on March 30th. Julia Thatcher and Peyton Steiner have been talking to people who have come to the area to help search for the missing mothers. Julia. We are in Boise City, Oklahoma now. Our search today uh, questioning people about the investigation, what's going on. Getting a pulse in the community has brought us to several towns between Kansas and Oklahoma. And there are two themes that have really stuck out today from people we've talked to. First, everyone we've spoken to is familiar with the investigation and familiar with the search for Jillian and Veronica. The two themes, everyone seems to want more answers from law enforcement. Any type of details they can release. What's the state of the investigation? They're desperate for those answers. Where are Jillian and Veronica? The the second theme is that the search is so difficult because the ground to cover is so spread out. Again, we mentioned we've been between Oklahoma and Kansas and what you're looking at right now is a search that happened earlier today. Two true crime YouTubers searched this abandoned home. They say someone sent them this tip asking them to check out the property. Those YouTubers say there are a lot of questions from people asking why more isn't being released. They say they do not want to get in the way of law enforcement, but understand the frustration of wanting more answers. We're the public and their families and we want answers like yesterday. The next day, that's not the way it works. Her and I understand that they could be anywhere. And like on this property here, it's abandoned, but there's a well back there. It's not covered. It's pretty big. So I got down in there and looked because you never know where they could be. Both of those women say they plan to stay in the area searching for Jillian and Veronica for as long as they can afford. I reached out to Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation earlier today to see if they would be available for an on camera interview. Again, I was told they are not available for an on camera interview and they would let me know when more details can be released. And I did run into an Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation agent at the gas station. That's the first time I've seen uh, the agency's presence in this area. And we'll remind you uh, originally Oklahoma County uh, deputies found that car were the first on scene and contacted OSBI. So they are now handling that investigation. So it wouldn't be uncommon to see them in this area. But again, that's the first time that I've seen agents here uh, investigating and, and the first time I really just ran into them kind of by accident. So again, uh, this investigation is spanning across several towns and communities. We're about 40 minutes away from where Jillian and Veronica's car was found. And we're out here because it was a better cell signal to be able to bring you this live shot. But that gives you an, a, another idea and indication of how remote this area is. So we're continuing uh, to ask OSBI for uh, any details they can release and we'll bring you the latest as soon as we learn more here for you. Julia Thatcher, KSN News 3. And we're going to continue to track the mysterious disappearance of Veronica and Jillian. We'll bring you the latest updates both on air and online at KSN.com.